Well, and now Zach Perry is with us from Taste and See Tampa Bay. And Zach finds so many cool things in the Bay Area that, well, we have to have you come on the blend in addition to Taste and See Tampa Bay. But, okay, this may take the cake for unique mm -hmm. spots. Yes, it's a very unique spot out in Hernando County, five miles inside of a forest. It's basically a hidden oasis for a distillery, okay? This place makes whiskey, it makes rum, and it makes moonshine, all right? And you're making, wow. you know, there's something to be said about, you know, drinking out there, out and away from everything. It's kind of like I said, it's a hidden oasis right there in Hernando. It's a journey, huh? It is. And it's like <laughs> five miles on this Lime Rock Road. You were like, where am I going? But at the end of the road, I'll tell you, it is a great spot for spirits and uh, learn a little bit about, you know, distillery as well. Well, let's take a look. Hi, I'm Natalie Goff. Welcome to Enjoy Spirits Distillery in Hernando County. So we are a distillery, we're a craft distillery, we're an 80 acre facility, we make whiskey, we make rum, and we make moonshine. So we love having visitors out here. We're a little off the beaten path. We are a five mile journey through the Chaz Wahiska Wildlife Management Area South. We are again an 80 acre facility where we grow 401 black rye for our whiskey and we grow sugar cane for our rum. We allow you to have a tour if that's something you'd like to do. You don't have to do a tour, but the tours, they take about 20, 30 minutes. Then after the tour, we end up in the tasting room where we sample the whiskey, the wild buck whiskey, the mermaid rum, and rise and shine moonshine. And then we always feature a craft cocktail for the day. So today's craft cocktail, for instance, would have been, if I was gonna make a drink today, cause I just bought some great drink mix, would have been a mango pineapple daiquiri made with our rum, ginger ale, and fresh strawberries. We have a lot of different areas where you can just chill out, uh, grab a beer, grab a hot dog. We also have a helicopter fuselage. Uh, it's a Bell 206 that has been converted into a bar. So we have eight craft beers on tap over uh, on the other side of the property with a wood-fired pizza oven. And then we have our main bar, which is called the Bunghole, which also has uh, a whole handful of different craft beers that we change out weekly. We have tours every Saturday and Sunday from 11 until 6 p.m. with the last tour being at 5.30. No reservation is required. So we have a little putting green um, where you can putt-putt golf. Um, we also have the, the corn tosses. Enjoy the day, sit in our Adirondack chairs which are around our spring-fed pond. Um, grab a cool drink and just enjoy your day with us. The majority of distilleries out there actually don't actually make their product. They actually purchase it and age it in barrels and do different things. Whereas, that, as I said, we're a certified farm distillery, so we actually grow a good portion of our stuff, which makes it a little bit uh, different than a lot of the others. So, you know, we can run a batch in within like 60 hours, and with our particular equipment set up, we can actually have batch, three batches going at one time, one fermenting, one cooking, and one distilling. So it's something you have to experience for yourself. Now, there's something to be said about, you know, drinking moonshine five miles inside of a forest <laughs> looking at an old sheriff's <laughs> helicopter. But hey, it's to part of the Florida you, experience. To you remind know? you that you need to be responsible, right? That's right. Go. That's right. So it's very cool. Very cool spot. You know, like I said, it's out in Hernando County, so definitely worth the drive. And, you know, we all feature great things on Taste and Seed Tampa Bay each and every week at Fridays at uh, 1030 a.m. So make sure to stay tuned for that. Good stuff, yeah. Zach. Thanks Wait. for being with us today. And don't go anywhere because we're going to be talking to poet and illustrator Ruby Kaur coming up next on The Morning Blend.